Let's go indeed, everyone. Welcome into day three of Majora's Mask. Oh, it is, it is absolutely hype. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna light on you guys. I am, I am so looking forward to this that I, you know, just whatever. Luna, Toonie, Gerda, Vladdy, Drawl, Zelda Dadson, anyone else I missed coming in early. Appreciate you guys for being here. We're going to get right into this because we got a lot of ground to cover and you got to get through it. So let's do this. Day three. We will finish today. Whether, whether we'll finish within three hours or have to go a little over, we'll find out. Let's do it. Here's, here's where we left off. Right here. Okay. Anyway, set up the items we need. Alex is here too. Alex, welcome on in. Made it. This does look and run really well for Ridge and Jenny, you're not wrong. You have no idea what the 3DS was actually capable of because you missed out on it. So we just gave our sword away. We don't have a sword now. I'm doing great. I mean, I am so excited to be playing more Majora's Mask and finishing this off for y'all. We don't really need New pencils this morning, Luna. That's exciting. You do some art this afternoon. But this guy will sell you the biggest bomb bag for 200 rupees if you have the second level bomb bag. We bought it from the Curiosity Shop last cycle at a markup so we could do it now because otherwise you got to wait until after midnight on the first day to buy it. Pencil broke last night. I was bought a Nice. There were a lot of really great games on the 3DS. Yeah, it's fine. There's, there's great games everywhere. Then we need to convince him to move. everybody's good today. I hope if it's your thing you had lots of good Easter candy or maybe a nice Easter meal. And if not, just have candy and a nice meal. I don't care. We're, uh, we're just here to save the world. Two pencils, yes. I want. Don't mind if I take a creepy photo, do you? Creeping in a crime, we established that. Welcome in. You missed the, the pre-game music, but you know, it's all right. How's it going? You're making progress. <laughs> Do I like pancakes? Of course I love pancakes. <laughs> Thank you for the quote, Toonie. What do I put on pancakes? Um, sugar. Syrup and butter. I don't usually get terribly fancy with my pancakes, just piles of syrup and butter. Which is why waffles are superior, because they hold more syrup and butter.
Green pancakes with honey and blue. That's a good good way to do it. Let's, I'm just I'm just tossing masks around. Yes, Toonie, thank you for the the quote twenty one. Glad he's right. It's illegal not to love pancakes. I mean, it's just variations on a theme, isn't it, Gladdy? Greeny says how much she likes crepes, and I don't see the difference. Lean pancakes with butter and syrup, yep. Although M&M pancakes are probably my favorite thing. You've never made pancakes with M&Ms? Like, it's exactly like making a blueberry pancake, except you use M&Ms instead. Ah, you're missing out. So, just, just throwing that out. Yeah, I mean, you just offer me a stack of pancakes with enough butter and syrup. That's all I need. I don't need anything fancy. <laughs> What's the mom's forget? Uh, I don't think so, Alex. I think you may be thinking of something else. Wrapping up a little side questing. And once that's done, we're gonna start diving into some more dungeons. Because we don't have enough time to do a full dungeon before our next appointment at 12:30, and we'd actually prefer not to. So we're just doing a lot of side questing and then. We'll jump ahead to the 12 o'clock point. You're supposed to investigate a whole bunch of places around Zora Hall and learn this song, but if you already know the song, you can just play it. I think it's a keyboard, like multi keyboard layout, a piano keyboard made out of fish bones. Legs, fish sticks. Giant skull. Yeah, I mean, everything they do apparently is made out of dead fish. So you see, I got two question marks there because I didn't actually read the notes. Um, but I completed the event and got the reward, so it counts. Well, Luna, the Zora should contact you about interior decorating tips, I guess. Save here. We have so much time to spare at this section of the game. We're gonna, even though we're doing all these little errands, we're gonna end up having to fast forward at the end of it. I guarantee it. Fill our bottles with fish because why not? Look at, look at all these delicious fish. Deliciously fresh. When is Jabu Jabu? Um, I think I already did Jabu Jabu. So I think you're just going to be waiting a while.
Let's see. Okay, so. Let's climb up here. A little closer. Those babies are 200 rupees a pop. Yeah, if you buy them, Gerda. Like a chump, instead of just going to the water and scooping one up. Free. So you're supposed to plant a bean there and ride a bean plant over. And then when you get here, you're supposed to call the scarecrow and, and use him to hook shot over, but I do that. Yeah, yeah also I have you know, tons and tons of tons of rupees in the bank, so I'm good. Well, let's use this fish we just scooped up. I'm sorry to break it to you, Gertie. You did not have to spend 200 rupees on that fish. You could have walked three feet out the door into the little pool next to the shop and just scooped up a fish with a bottle. But, you know, lessons learned. So what's the thought? Is this purgatory? It's definitely some place where Link is dead. Feed the fish some fish, guys. I don't backseat in the middle of it, I'm just, I'm okay with pointing out mistakes after the fact. Sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little sorry. So sadly, one of the fish, if the same fish, same of those big fish gets all four of the fish from the bottles, you're done. Sadly, one of them went to the other guy, so we gotta go get a few more. I don't know about that. I mean, like, not that I didn't make any stupid mistakes my first time playing these games. But I, 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 I enjoy the discovery process and working things out, you know? I, I would never have gotten to see him do all kinds of crazy stuff I never would have thought of. But it's been like, well, you know, you can do it this way. Who wants that? It's boring. <laughs> about an after effect. It is theoretically possible we will need up to three fish here, so we're gonna... probably we'll only need one, but I think you don't point out my mistakes when you're getting ahead of it. I mean, point out some of them, Toonie, but you tend to play games I'm not as well versed in either, so it makes a difference. Yeah, the minimum number of fish to get this heart container is four. The maximum is seven. Because it goes until one of the fish has eaten four of them. But like I said, we got plenty of time to kill our things, so though. Nope, the big one got it. And he got the other one. Good deal. It is. But we got the heart of the dead fish, so... Not good. Fish friends that devour each other? I did not call you an idiot! Just, I actually said I was sorry to tell you about that. It's an unfortunate thing that happened to some people. Let's see here, actually. <laughs> Just a little bit. 
I'm a little afraid that wasn't going to activate in time. It's always kind of dicey. Buying fish is preferred, supporting the Hylian income. There you go. Boosting the Zora's uh, income there. Look, Link has better things to do with his time than to go fishing himself. We can, uh, we can just pay somebody else to do the dirty work. Well, hello, Troy. Thank you for passing that message along. Uh, a couple more errands to get done here. Yesterday we watched a, a we were staring at a hole from the ground for a while. Now we're gonna go actually see what was in that hole. This dream weekends went I mean it absolutely has been cool. Absolutely for me too. Whoops. I just paid 150 when I could have gotten it for hundred, but whatever. What's fifty rupees between friends? You tell him no, you don't want to buy it the first time, he'll lower the price. Duality of you knowing every pixel of the game. I've been checking for the first time. Not gonna lie. Teasing aside, here is Ocarina of Time Stream. Dude, it's, it's been amazing to watch. I've absolutely loved every minute. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the quote, Tony. All right, what are we going to do next? Get a powder keg. Right? Cool, I'm right there with you. Just tuning up the typing in the sensor. You know, it was funny, I was going through and uh, auditing the last, like, three streams where the quotes yesterday, and I was, like, fixing up the typos and the missing words, and I'm like, like you know, what's the tuning bool at I never have to fix? It's just kind of weird. Okay, we need to keep a little bit of cash here, so let's see. You need to return pocket chicken. You should. Now that pocket chicken has hatched. No, a fair amount of proper technique, but I don't practice. Whatever makes you happy there, Tony. Pocket chicken is actually super important. So please do return pocket chicken. Uh, I meant to turn into Goron first. Whatever. That bomb was behind. I know. Damage avoided in the dumbest way possible. Just put the bomb down, put the shield in front of the bomb, and you're safe. I don't think so in in the N6 or in the major the in the 3DS version of Ocarina of Time when you're doing the trading quest, I think it actually highlights the next destination on your map. It does not do that in the N64 version, I think, so it can be a lot more obtuse. 
Oh, Gerda, I love that. Uh, fun fact, if you don't return Pocket Chicken, that canonically sends the event so much for mask into motion. Does it? So what are some of the 3D specific hacks compared to the OG cart? Like, nearly everything I'm doing. Um, I think bomb jumping is one that works in the original. Uh, most of the clips and various other tricks I'm doing. Not so much. Uh, the Goron damage boosting, where I'd like pop in the air and they get knocked over an obstacle. You can actually do that easier in the original because you can do it with a bomb. Um, they fixed it in this version so that a bomb won't blast you forward if you're in the air as a Goron, but they left it so that every other damage source still does it. <laughs> But the restricted items glitch, where I get to use stuff when I shouldn't. It's, there's, there's so much... The, the thing is that there's so much new tech in this version because... Um, hang on, I'm checking my... There's so much new tech in this version because Majora's Mask or the 64 has that infinite sword glitch where you can just backflip and bomb ho hover indefinitely. And because of that, you can just do so much with it. It's like they don't bother to discover other techniques. So. The bomb, yes. So, okay, I'm going to... Explanation. The infinite sword glitch in the N64 versions of Ocarina and Majora's Mask basically make the game think you're swinging your sword all the time, even though Link is not doing the sword swinging animations. When you are swinging your sword, you cannot fall off a ledge. The game locks you to a... was it? X coordinate? Okay. And so, if you take damage, it resets your X coordinate. So, they'll activate the glitch, then they'll do like a backflip in the air and hit themselves with a bomb at the same time, and they get stuck even higher in the air, and then they can just keep doing that to gain all kinds of so. Alright, folks. Quiz time. Uh, what time does Romani go to bed? Who knows this? What is the name given to you by Romani? She calls me Grasshopper. Where does... Good one. I knew all those by heart. Promise. Honest. Seriously. There's so many questions you can get, and some of them are so weird. I do not have them all. Some people do. People who run this in Japanese, who don't speak Japanese because it's faster, they have to just memorize what the question looks like what the correct answer looks like. How does that feel? Okay. So that is as much as we can do here, like I promised. We gotta jump ahead in time. Not only are we trying to do this as fast as possible in-game time, we're just gonna waste some time. Here comes the bomb lady. I might as well pop that balloon. That accomplishes nothing. We're just doing it because. Right, Gladdy? It's just like, how? Oh. 
supposed to be, what is your name, what is your favorite color? Like, th those would have been better questions, Toonie. I'm not going to disagree with you. After we rescue this lady, it's on to the third temple, which is actually our second temple, because we haven't done the second temple yet. Watch a lady get mugged in slow motion. going so fast we just have time to waste. Well, somebody banned Toonie Loons. What an intent- I mean, the lady got mugged but we saved her. All good, Q. How you doing today? Happy Sunday. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the quote, Adbool. I had a feeling that was going to get captured. That is Sakan. So, okay, guys. If you remember, Sakan stole Coffee's mask. And when he tries to sell the bomb bag to the curiosity shop, that's when Coffee spies him and goes after him. But because we rescued the lady, Sakan never... It's to sell the bag to the curiosity shop. Sakan or Kafi will never see him and go chase after him. And the curiosity shop will have a different item for sale of the third day instead of the bigger bomb bag that we bought last cycle. It's the only way to get the mask that we're going to buy at the end of this. Interesting stuff. What's this choice? Guitar Hero. Yes. Hey, hello, Rydia. Welcome in. Happy Sunday. How was your dinner last night? How was your leftovers today? Rock on long, yes. You only play that song twice in the whole game. Once when you learn it and once when you use it here, so it's not one I have super memorized. So good. I'm excited. I'm not sure what we're going to order. We always order out for you know, Easter dinner. I might actually look at where you got last night and get that instead. Yes, um... Riddy was playing Soten Randomizer last night, and that was a lot of fun. Stomach is a bit uncooperative. I'm sorry to hear that, you. But, you know, doing good otherwise, we'll take it. Hope that settles. Don't have, eat so much Easter candy next time. Did another rando this morning, but it was a way better seat. Well, okay. You think you'll do more on stream? It was fun to watch. Finishing maybe three. I've been thinking about doing um, OT 3D randos. Yes, those exist. Uh, Symphony of the Night, Castlevania. Cool. Yeah, Hollow Knight might be one I'd try to. Uh, Rupius has been playing a lot of that. And that's fun to watch, too. I, I think your enjoyment of a rando just depends a lot on how well you are personally know the game. So. Exactly. Like, like, you have to know the game pretty well, and people watching have to have some familiarity with it. Who knows, maybe an OOT 3D one will be in our future. Give one to Gerda next weekend, right? After he beats the game. You know, well enough for a rando. Pirates are 
Pirates are so gung ho. They're just, they're totally gonna win. Occasionally I have to do it against Skips, you don't get the, the dash ones a lot of times. I think there's, there's like settings though, right, Toonie? Like, where you can require in game logic to say, hey, I don't wanna have to do these skips to get items. You have me on record that I might do an OOT 3D right now? Is that what you're saying, Bubble? Why don't the candle makers work for Monday to Friday? Because they only work on the weekends. <laughs> there, Alex. How you doing today? Welcome on in. Let us set ourselves up for success here. about that room full of radiance toonie this is the yeah yeah i don't like the random modes that require too many glitches and luna i don't blame you for hating this dungeon it's um it's pretty rough honestly um now that i think about it we're just gonna back up and do a safety save just in case things go south. This temple can be very frustrating to learn, but once you know how it works, I think it is pretty satisfying. No, Luna, I'm sorry. I can understand that, honestly. Like, the water temples in the, these Zelda games, not the nicest things in the world, honestly. Oh, you don't have a small fee. Oh, Alex, I'm sorry to hear that. Get better. Like, just rest. I ran out of time, so I reset duty. Oh, no. Uh, were you playing the song of slow time, Luna? But yeah, I could, I could see that. I could see that. This one can take a long time, your first time through, to figure out. watch him do that. Yes. And I mean, it's it's a little less obtuse in the 3DS version, but it's not much less obtuse, honestly. It's still great. How you guys doing? It's been a long time, so I'll try to appreciate this game. I still have it. It's an acquired taste. Not everyone's favorite the first time. I just think that once you do learn the game, it's so much fun. There's so much you can do with it. There's so many ways to play it. It's got such character and possibility. It wasn't bad, it was annoying. I would count Ancient Cistern as a water temple. I mean, it's not a lot of water, but it's enough. Yeah, Toonie, you probably played it fresh the most recently for someone to actually have an opinion. This temple, though, in a sort of optimal way. Tricky. 
boss in this temple is not fun at all. I think the boss in this temple is awful. Um, and I'm not sure that it's better or worse in this version. I've gotten good enough at it. I don't really mind anymore. But I totally respect your point on the boss. Oh, wait. Now this mid boss, like, actually there's there's two mid bosses and a final boss in this, and I think this one's my least favorite. Here it is. Let's see how it goes. Obviously meant to replicate the boss of the sewers, the second Dark World Temple in Link to the Past. I think it does a fair job of it. Oh, if you want to be possessive, it's just ideas, but if it's supposed to be a contraction, then it's ideas. Be yes. LMAP, good line. sir. Welcome in. Who <laughs> throws a tomato at the screen? Oh. Remember, guys, we don't have a sword, so that's why we're switching to Goron Link anytime we wanna actually hit something. Really? We're gonna do it like that? How you doing today, Elmac? I think Elmec was on last night after I went to bed. Like, I saw the go live notice as I was laying down. We'll open back up. Oh, you jerk. Is that good? Is that, is that a compliment there? Sometimes I can't tell. With the pointy stick. I wish I had. I, I do actually have a stick, but. Fun fact if you are gonna any percent this game, you don't need these. Completely skip them if you'd like. Thank you for the collapse. Um, that's... Thank you, Zelda Dancing. Grab a few more. It is 100% possible with tricks to do this dungeon without the ice arrows. Um, however, for myself, they all require um, buffered inputs, so I can't do them in emulation. It's totally needed. You think so, Elmec? Is that your is that your opinion? Yeah, it's possible to use a trick to get up that red pipe along the side and get over here without having to freeze that guy. Um, the gainer trick I talked about yesterday, where you do like a standing backflip to gain height, you can do that in another area instead of getting a nice block. It all works together.
these and Base arrows are for chumps. Easter Bunny left lots and lots of candy, which is all I really want. But you guys. Bacon. How are you doing today? Yeah, you don't need this ice block here. If you can do a gainer, you can just backflip up to this ledge. But again, can't do a gainer real time. So, we shan't be doing that. Great so far. Nice little sleep in. Did some sieve this morning. We've got everything ready for this. We're gonna have a lovely Easter dinner ordered out from somewhere later. That's it. I'm really looking forward to just finishing the rest of this off. You know. Good day full of hands, you know. Save and didn't forget to. St exactly. It was actually kind of hard to shut it off in time for stream banking. Yeah, again, any percent. The boss that's coming up here is 100% optional. However, he's also a frog that we need to wake up to get a heart piece. So he's not optional. We have to fight him anyways. We just don't have to come in the intended route. Yeah, I already stole his treasure. Now I just gotta kill him. to wake him up, Elmac. He's not himself. I'd be much happier when I'm done murdering him. arrow was needed, but it's not, because you don't have to fight this guy. I totally could have just skipped this fight. It's, it, ice arrow is needed if you're going to 100% the game, which is what we're doing. But if you're going to any percent, totally optional. tricks and ways around all the areas where you would need ice arrows if you're just trying to beat the game. Anyway, Frog is much happier now. He's gonna go sing in the choir. You are doing 100%, does that mean you're going to get fused? It does mean I'm going to do the speedy mask. No, you, you only have to get through this guy 
to get the boss key, and we came in the back way and already got the boss key. So you can just sneak in how we did, get the boss key, and then hop right back out. that mask breaks the game it definitely breaks the end boss like if you have the fierce deity mask and chateau romani in your system the end boss is not a boss it's just a cutscene. and then you can if you want you can load up the game afterward and refight any of the original bosses with the fierce deity mask in tow Oh, no, 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 wait. Come on, yes. Oh, no. We're getting all the masks. We, we already got on your coffee quest done. Like, there, there's my mask, Selmac. I'm only missing three of them, and one of them is Fierce Deity. Well, Luna, good news. You'll get to see today specifically what it does. Maddie, thank you for the lurk in the shop. Appreciate you being here. Hope it goes well for you. I'm just recovering from bad movement. Does that mean I'm getting the Gilded Sword? Yes. As a matter of fact, the shop has my sword right now to turn it into a Razor Sword. Getting everything, Elmac. Everything. We're doing the whole bomber's notebook. We're doing all the upgrades. We're doing all the items, all the masks, all the heart container pieces. This is segment three of all of them. About two thirds done already. Even the heart piece with the cow. There's 52 heart pieces. You're going to have to be a little more specific. I don't know which one that is. Yes, all the heart pieces. Even the hidden one? Sure. Aren't they all hidden to some degree? All the golden skeletalists, yes, all 60 of those. Because you need to get the skeletalists to get the giant's wallet and one of the masks. Pictographs that are required to complete quests, yes. No figurine gallery. Okay, you know what? You want to know what we're not doing? We're not doing the fishing holes. So you can just contain your disappointment right now. Easter, how you doing? I, mean, I like the fishing too, but we're not doing it. I mean, all the fishing would add like an entire extra stream on top of everything we're already doing. Thank you, Spade. Appreciate that sentiment. No, I don't I don't like fishing. No, we're not doing that. We may have an extra stream. We uh we toyed with the idea that there may be a single any percent stream next weekend. How are you doing today, Spade? Good to see ya.
Getting all the tingle maps, no. Maps are not necessary. You know what? I, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys something that I think is hilarious. Um, I was watching some GDQ runs a while back, and they were doing the OOT run and explaining why maps and compasses did not enter into the definition for 100%, because they impart knowledge, not any game capability, right? And, which I agree with, I don't think you should have to get them for 100%. Guess what? In the official description of Majora's Mask 100%, maps and compasses are required. It's literally like the same kind of game. How can you make such a weird distinction like that? You can buy everything has it 100%? Because I want it to be. Everything I want to do. Truth is relative. Yeah, well, it doesn't make sense, and so the short answer is we're not getting all the maps and compasses, because what does that prove? Yay, I know where a treasure chest is that does nothing. And the fact is, we go past every single one of them. I'm just not stopping to pick them up. And he'll did nothing wrong? I disagree with that. I disagree with that a lot. You must have lost. So strong, no, cancel tingle. Cancel tingle, you guys. Almost to the boss here. That's what he did. See, Maddie's so. Maddie feels so strongly about the tingle that he came out alert just to say that. Not picking the bump. Uh, actually, yes. It's totally fair. Totally fair, both of you. Uh. Da, 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 da. No, I don't find a cancel. I'll not be canceling Tingle. Cancel. <laughs> it was just a thing around. No, I believe. I believe that he was popular in Japan because otherwise, why would they have carried on with him in the other games? All right, we got all the great fairies. Oh, you guys. Hang on a second. Phone overheated. Oh no, too much time in the sun. Welcome back. Uh, too hot for the phone. It is summer out there. We, uh, we didn't activate the green pipe, so, you know. No water fountain to bounce across on. Unless you just don't need it. Yep. Green pipes, totally unnecessary. Completely optional. Really do. Sumer? Wait, is that a country? Sumer? That's a place, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just cheating. Why do you take no fall damage? See, now that's just built into the game. You know I'm trying to say Ash. 
fish hole and not ash hole, right? <laughs> Just making sure that it's caught up on everything. Journey, you're not disrespecting this chat any more than the rest of us. somewhere. I'm not gonna lie, if you the first times at this, this section is extremely frustrating. saying it, it is possible to get good at it. Not perfect, but good. And it still requires a little bit of luck. Which we managed, so... in this tank all by himself must have been yeah he was yeah like I agree with that ghoul yeah gladiator the eyeball and the eyeball thing was added for the 3ds remake because they wanted to give it like the sense that it was possessed by the spirit of Majora so they all got these eyes that popped out and had to be damaged. None of that was in the original. And some people complain about that. They're like, why did they change the bosses? Didn't need that. It was pointless. I don't like it. I think it kind of thematically ties them all together and and it was a neat little introduction, a little addition. I, I don't know. Not like it's a mustache on the Mona Lisa, which would also be kind of fun. Yeah, like, it's just a way of, of bringing a little thematic unity to it, so. I'm running the commentary going on here, explain everything you're doing and what the items are and what they do. We can even... <laughs> right over there. Oh, I gotta... What are we doing next? It's clock time. We gotta go cure somebody of his hangover. We're <laughs> already in with Eddie. That I believe. Let's just do a safety save while we're here. Guardians are great. First sunstroke of the season is hugely big. Hi! 
Don't remember it that well, but enough to know you're probably right. Guy's hungover from drinking milk way too late last night, and now he wants us to go to his brother's and get some special milk that'll help him recover his hangover. This, I mean, yeah, the sun. The sun is a wonderful thing. When it works. Mystery milk. Don't drink it. <laughs> milk hangovers, man. Maybe I don't know. I got I got nothing. And so the timer on this to get the milk to him on foot is just way too generous. We're gonna make a stop on the way and do a little side quest. This is a funny reply if you let the milk spoil. Really? I've never tried to do that. Like, intentionally failing just to see what happens is really hard for me. The only way, only reason we let the moon crash yesterday is because y'all asked for it. Speaking of noodle and, and drinking milk, you shouldn't. Exactly who I was thinking of. How are you doing today, Noodle? Good to see you. Good morning. What's for breakfast? Yeah, we still have over a minute to get it to the guy. Maybe we'll see Anju out with her, uh, her umbrella. Nah, I think we're too late. Sorry. He has a lovely little um, pattern. Pattern is not the right word. Route on day two, where she like goes out with her umbrella and she sits at the laundry pool. It's just really cool. Zelda Dadson raises a good point. What if it's chocolate milk, Stranger? That's still bad. Eating usual bacon, eggs, and toast for breakfast. I am I'm great, having a great day, playing a great game. It's going really well, and looking forward to more fun this, this afternoon evening. What does Majora's Master consider? Uh, yes, that would be accurate. Evil. So your running commentary is your seven-year-old. Sorry. I didn't catch that before. Alright, time for Dungeon 2, which is our third one. Smart boy. This, this. And same. And again, this cutscene goes faster because we played it on the first stream already. Yesterday I was likening Majora's Mask to the One Ring of Masks. 
it's really powerful, but it kind of has a will of its own. Yeah, pretty much. route through here trying to get all the fairies and get to the end. And we're not going to bother with that big floor stopper thing in the middle of the... When a cutscene interrupts, Link automatically fires off his hookshot, so if you point it at that torch before the cutscene takes over for the chest appearing, you'll cross the gap during the cutscene. Which is, you know, I guess necessary, it's just fun to pull off. I'll be taking notes because thanks to the fact that we already got the hookshot and the fire arrows, the route through this dungeon has no basis in reality. that Link turns to face things during cutscenes when they're appearing. Fancy maneuvering through this area here. Again, a, a dungeon that could be s much more severely shortcutted if we weren't also trying to get all the fairies. Ha! 
Just for pause screens, give me a second to think about what I'm. Interesting uh, bit of physics there. If you hook shot down far enough for Link to have taken fall damage, he'll take fall damage. By now you know what we're gonna do with this gap. We'll see him at least three more times. One of them of like the five or six that exist in this game. If you beat him that way, he just freezes and you can't proceed. So you can't do that to all of them, but neat little trick where it works. Okay, so we got the boss key. Where we need to be next is actually right in that little mouth thing. Not a sword. Swing and a miss. No. Just hoping this works. Jump slash to right yourself and land in the proper spot. Here we go. The top. Got all the fairies. No need to muck about with that giant stone pillar in the middle. Thank you, Bull. Thank you. That's not what I meant to do. Let's see if Goat cooperates.
Who is not standing directly in front of him? That scene moved me there. I know better. Time to go fast. Interesting thing about goat's mechanics. Uh, if you want to knock them down, you gotta hit them a bunch of times. But if you manage to hit him in the air with the Goron roll, it knocks him right down. So if you can time it to hit him off of a jump. Oh, <laughs> denied. anyone's curious, the sequence is three arrows bomb, two arrows bomb, three arrows bomb, it'll kill him in three cycles to so forth. Tell my grandkids this was the imprint. Dungeon number three down for us. Uh oh. Got a couple little things to do, but it's time to get trolled by the Goron race next, basically. We still have one dungeon left, and that one, that one's a little longer. By virtue of what it is, and we're going to be doing it in two parts, so. But it's night of the second day, so we still got plenty of time left. We are going to pretty much be done with like two exceptions before the end of day three this cycle. We still have to do the third cycle because you can't you have to do the deliver the mail a second time to get both rewards. And we'll also have to listen to grandma's stories, which we can't do until we get the mask at the end of this whole cycle. So those are the two things that will be remaining when we finish. And since we rescued all the frogs already. We have a little frog chorus. I'm just glad you don't have to do the thing you have to do in Ocarina of Time there. The piece, because that would be it. And just because the Goron race is what it is, leave there. Well, 
Get all the water's all melty. If we had pulled off the Goron missile yesterday and saved ourselves a powder keg, we wouldn't have had to buy that one earlier. We could have just used the one we had in our pocket. But no. That had to be a finicky trick to pull off. And it almost worked, but then the, the dog didn't want to cooperate, so we had to reset. Alright, guys. Again, if anyone's never seen this before, this race has... Like ten times worse rubber banding than Mario Kart 64 ever had. I just wish me luck. Like your position the whole race really just doesn't matter until the last stretch. Thank you. I will beat the cheaters. Like, none of this matters. To my success. Now it's getting spicy. Had to make it exciting. Or off. One of the two. Good. Still one. Let me see if I can get the draw. I know. Like they slow way down when they're up ahead so you can catch up, but then as soon as you're ahead, they just lays them right past you again. Okay, we did it first try. That's what we want to see. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Get it. Thank you for the clap. Ooh. The GG's loot. Now we can get our sword back and give it right back. Severely whelmed by this phrase. That's that is the correct response, Alex. Very whelming. Don't forget to spell check! Or I'll come to your house and throw a brick through your dad's windshield! Windshield! Love it. Whoa. Alright. We actually have. Okay, we're not gonna talk about the blacksmith. I don't know what you just saw, but I didn't see anything. and some fairies. We got we gotta cash in these fairies, we gotta cash in the bay fairies, we gotta do one little mini game, and then we're on to Temple Four. <laughs> there's there's one mini game you can't play until you beat Bay the, the Bay Temple. So we gotta go do that too.
we learned a spin attack. We can use that. fairy to return the parts of. What's the bomb stamp for? It means you completed the quest. Um, because the gang, the, the secret society of doing really good stuff, is known as the bombers. So, you know, you do lots of good deeds for people, Gerda, you get more bombs. Which is, you know, just another reason to play this game a lot. Do everything good. Yeah, it's just the completed mark. The side quest. Also, can we talk about how uh, Gerda yesterday bought three Stalfos in a row and struggled and, and yeah, he had to do it a second time. Understandable. But never threw a single bomb. I wasn't sure who I was watching anymore. Don't be disappointed, everyone. There is still one more great fairy to go in this run. So. Soak her in while she's here, but there's still one more left. just in case this goes sideways, and I know I keep saying that, and it hasn't happened yet, but it's always possible. We don't want to leave ourselves in an unwinnable state. We are on the clock. Just pretend that's not there. for you guys. to grow on. 
so we did it. We can just let time run out. There's no way to end the game early. Um, if you jump over to where he's standing, he's like, "Oh, sorry, you couldn't leave. You can't leave the area. You lost," which is just stupid. This game is actually a little scary because if you fall in the water, not only do you lose the game and have to try over, you have to go all the way back to the boat, ride the boat back over, and hook shot back up here or play it again. Cool, man. Got 30 seconds. Get a snack or something. I don't know. Glad Mom, welcome in. Happy Easter. How you doing? We're just letting time run out. We're just we're just wasting time for our container. Big bowl, it's off. You guys get snacks. I'm gonna daydream about all the snacks I'm gonna have after stream to reward myself for this weekend. Dollar Tree Thin Mints. Love it. Ignoring Zipper. That's that's how to do it. Well, thank you. Thank you, Bool. I feel like I have, so. Stone, Tower, Temple, Pilot, Pilots. I don't know. I'm doing great. We're playing a great game, we're having great friends over, we're having a great time. It's going really well. Where is my tingle? Oh no. Just wanted to pop off the arrows here. So you're supposed to activate all three of these block switches in the correct order using this song that we learned last stream. Stone Tower Pilots, yes. See, I was thinking the same thing, Cloud Mom. I just didn't want to say it out loud. But, you know, if you remove the thing that's holding this block in place instead... You can just ride it back. That's it. Easy. Sleepy said bedtime. Thank you, Alex. You rest up, and I hope you feel better tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it's all done in purely platonic love. Nice to people I don't like. This room's fun. You're supposed to blow open that wall and get a box to hold down one of these switches, because there's four switches, and you can only leave three statues that have weight, because the Deku statue is worthless. But we're not going to do that. A statue here is going to remove the statue I put on another switch earlier. Thanks to the confusing way switches work on themselves, it gives us just enough time to sneak by. It's a lot of fun. shader loading today. 
I'm not sure why that's going on. Usually not this bad. Only the best kind of hacking there. Every five times I play this, I forget this. I forget to get that guy. And it's, uh. makes me cry every time. Gotten that chest with the compass or map in it? Yeah. So it's the the block right there. It's possible to do a gainer on that block and get inside, which means you can get the fairy fragment that's in there this time around. Uh, but again, gainer's not really possible for me in emulation. We can at least trigger the switch today. Great Dollar Tree actually has decent... They do! They do, Cloud Bomb. No shame. So we'll have to come back when we can legitimately activate Not a huge loss of time, it just... It's point, though. Yeah, they do. I think it's... that's great. Um, the Dollar 25 tree? Is that a thing? I haven't been there in ages, so... since Suka Springs. I don't think getting all the keys is considered part of any category, Bacon. It's yes. We have not gotten all the keys in any dungeon we've done so far. Races to okay. Uh, hop on. That's that's exactly the kind of inspiration I've always wanted to like be in my life. I'm happy about that. Please do. I'll be there watching every chance I can. I've seen a lot of people rage at this room. I'm not really sure why. Yeah, they just say maps and compasses are required for 100%, and I'm not sure why. Because again, it it's not required in Ocarina of Time 100%, so why arbitrarily add it to this? Oh no, Bool, I know exactly what you're talking about. Thankfully, the place I worked at in college is out of business, so that's never an issue for me anymore. I'm not even going to say where. Yeah, if you if you got stuck at the graveyard, Luna, you wouldn't have made it this far, sorry. Maybe someday. Ah. Still got time to play it. Yep, yep, I think we all got that. Cloud Bomb. Just And even Rini's got that about some places she's worked too, so. Oh. 
There you go. Easy to avoid. Just set that Deku Link on fire so we can warp back to the start of the room there. I don't know what my expectations would be for that kind of job, but um, sorry to hear it was vile. The link just flexing here is like, I'm going to do this backwards. So, uh, there's a mini boss coming up. I don't have a sword. And he has he has fire swords, which means I can't use Zora Link or Deku Link. They die instantly to fire. I have to fight him with Goron Link. Sound awful cool. Be like, can, can I just work on the side like that does, deals with the clothes after they've been cleaned? That's awful. I'm so sorry. Did you get to wear gloves? <laughs> oh no! There are light arrows now. For using a calculator to register, so I didn't want to push Oh my goodness. That's awful. I'm glad you don't work that job anymore. Alright, we're almost done with the first half of. Temple of Stone Tower Pilots something. I don't know. What a character. The remake is amazing. Everybody should be playing it right now. Back to the office Wednesday. Oh, no, like this? Like, a, please, please tell me this is like a a one kind visit. It, you're not. This is not permanent, is it? This is like one of those. We need you to come in for a day, right? Oh, don't toy with my emotions here. One day a week. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
our time tentatively is June, and it's keeps getting too close. That's all I can say. So we have to do a couple of side quests um, that aren't available after you beat the tower, so we have to do them now. Literally. Right? We don't have an official go back day. We have, we're going back when the new office is ready, and the build out is estimated to take until the end of May. But once it's ready, we're tentatively going back. I'm gonna do what I can to mitigate that situation. Especially with Padrini's health having me all this good. Might be able to pull that. And it's not even like pulling their card, it's a legitimate thing too, so. Well, good. In front about that. Good, I hope this is looking familiar. <laughs> right? Look at these guys. Yeah. Uh oh. Hopefully they don't call your bluff. Light arrows do a lot of damage to ghosts. That's why we went and got the light arrows before we did this little challenge. to do mini game uh nets 400 rupees so you have to empty your wallet before we start otherwise it's a waste right after two years it just it doesn't make sense to me like what 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 do they think they're going to gain out of this move, other than spending money on us? Not going to make me happier, that's for sure. Do they, do they just need a place full of people to tour investors some days? job could just be a pain, but... Yeah, that's the other extra. Don't leave extroverts in charge. But, yeah, I mean... Control what you can and make peace with what you can't, I guess. So what, uh, that's what I try to do. Best you can do, right? Ow! 
So this is like a mini boss refight sequence. Because they were all so much fun the first time. Now it's like, hey, what if we did them again? And this is the room I was talking about where if you fight this guy and kill him with a Goron Pound, it actually locks up here and you can get it finish it. Like the fight doesn't actually end. Which is pretty funny when you think about it. You know I'm trying to say asshole and not asshole, right? I like that attitude. I do have a lot of good sound commands, and I keep meaning to add even more, but, you know, keep your eyes on the page. It's what it's there for. I do this guy again. one of those hasn't hit me and knocked me out of this animation. <laughs> space. Yeah, and not only do I have a lot of sound commands that you're free to use whenever, Please don't be afraid to experiment with them if you're not sure what one sounds like and just want to know. I don't mind in the slightest. They're there to be used, and if you need to know what it sounds like to know when you want to use it, have at it. Do not care at all. reason we went and did the first half of the stone tower before we came out to do minigame challenges is because you can't do this whole thing until you fought this guy once. Oh, my God. 
obtain. I almost did that again. I did that the other day, too. I got the final boss beaten, I got the treasure chest, the money, and I almost... I, I actually left without getting the heart container. I never throw hands with a Goron. The dudes will mess you up. Also, don't leave a challenge before you get your prize. Deposit and how do we finish off this? Hey, you knew it all. Let's finish off this uh, 5k bank challenge. Maybe not finish it off, but get it ready to be finished off. If we can get it within 200 rupees, we're good. This is the fastest way to get money in this game. You need light arrows. Unlimited magic. gotten one from the Hylian police yet, but maybe I've just been able to fly under the ring so far. Thank you, Lynn. So this should put me at 48. Let's double check. Yeah. And I'll get 200 finishing off the stone temple, so let's almost go do that. We have one small errand to do first. We, we do have enough money to bribe them. We gotta go pick up our sword. Now that we don't really need it anymore. Look at that thing. It's gorgeous. Blacksmith pool. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, here's one for you. Is Majora's Mask a roguelite? Let's just flip everything upside down for a minute. So we have to go in this temple three times because you do it, go through one section proper, one section inverted, and then you have to go back to it proper to get the last three. Get the last three fairy pieces. Kinda is. It really is. It's it's a very forgiving one. It's got a lot more progression mechanics than your average roguelike, but it, it is. And especially the first time you play it really encourages trial and error. Wait. 
we got a big trick coming up in this room that's gonna save a whole mess of nonsense, but first we gotta collect a few things. So he is about to find out. Good point. I don't know about that. I didn't 100% it, but I did manage to beat it in a week when I first got it. Back in college. So. I don't think you'll be streaming until late 2024 when Breath of the Wild 2 comes up. Also, yes, what, what Bull just said. I would be unnecessarily happy with that. and pears. <laughs> I don't know what you I don't know what you what you're talking about. Alright, we are now inside the ledge. We are now standing outside this doorway. And we just skipped a giant chunk of this dungeon. A whole bit of block pushing and flipping everything around, and we're at the boss key now. I love that skip because I honestly do not like that whole flippy block pushy part of the dungeon. It's cool the first time. Thank you, Google. How long did it take me to learn? Like, this game has really good tutorials online, but pulling it off, yeah, it took me a few tries. Especially to get, like, even kind of consistent at it. How we roll. Thankfully, the whole section we skip, an entire skipped section, a single stray fairy in there. He is a cool boss. Very cool. And the light arrows are just super potent, so. And the whole mechanic in this game where you can buy something that gives you unlimited magic until you reset time. I hate limited resources. Let's grab some arrows. Yeah, you have to get all the fairies, because that's part of the 100%. And yeah, I mean, first time through, there's no. You might as well just ignore them, right? They're a fun thing to do after you've maybe gotten used to the dungeon or beaten them once kind of thing. Mask really helps, because even, you know, it'll pull in stray fairies, but it'll also just sparkle and tell you, hey, 
there's a stray fairy in this room, you probably should look for it. That's just all you really need. Actually, I actually think I'm going to start replaying this. Stream has been good. Cool. My only question is, why are you even thinking about it? Dig out the 3DS and start going. We're, we're loaded up in an emulator. Um, load it up in an emulator and, and play it as beautiful as it can be. If you, uh, if you need help getting certain files or screen mappings or anything like that, I know a guy. Hook you up. Yep, Luna, you're absolutely right. I would definitely point you in the right direction. I like to think that I'm good at giving hints without giving away solutions. At least better than some people I know. And then that was not directed at anyone in chat. I just... I think it's more fun to point someone towards where they should be thinking than it is to just give them a solution. So. Directed at Rydia. Yes, absolutely directed at Rydia. He's the most spoilerific person I know. I've never heard you spoil anything. Yeah, Gerda. Yesterday, that was... I was, I was about to just... I was going to say, like... You can get Epona here, don't leave without figuring it out. But someone else was like, no, just do this. Yeah, okay. You guys ready for like the most epic boss fight of this entire game? And frankly, I love what they did to it in the remake. People complain about it. I I don't know how you feel about it, honestly. It's just... I like to let that sense of wonder and discovery happen. And I think there's ways to allow it to happen without just saying, do this. based off, this would actually be 2.0 because it's based off a boss from Link to the Past. One down. Okay, how are we going to take down this other guy, you think? Get a 
to take him down. Never heard of her. Fair enough. How are we here already? Cool. This does, you guys. That's funny. So interesting thing to tell you guys here. Um, when you grab and spin twin mold, things on the When you grab and spin twin mold, it does damage. And he's a four cycle boss, you have to do that four times. Okay. Um, there are two of these boulders in the arena that you can use to knock him out of the air straight away, otherwise you gotta punch him down like I did the first time. If you twirl the analog stick, or the circle pad, if you twirl the stick as Link is spinning him around, it does more damage, and you can 3 cycle. And we give it the old Mario 64 Bowser spin. Nowhere in the game does it tell you to do that. Just a thing. If you're, if you're just having fun and spinning along with Link while you're playing, you skip a cycle. Being huge was fun, but can't save the world like that, so... Four bosses down. And we are we're done. Like this is this is where we'd put a pin in our time and say we did everything as fast as we could. The rest of the stuff is stuff we have to fast forward for. Find that lazy forest boy. Call you.
All right, we're not actually done with the stone temple. We have to go back and get the last three stray fairies. Sorry. But they're right in a row, right along the entrance. Next three rooms. Also, Luna, when's your new HDMI cable coming? I assume you didn't run out and get one yesterday like you thought you might. Today? Okay. That's exciting. Should've got like Oh, I'm sorry. I I would be the same way as like, I don't want to go outside. But wait a day. I would rather wait a day than go outside. <laughs> oh no, then you went... Oh no. I'm sorry. Two days in a row, how'd you handle it? You want like once a week. It's the most I can handle. Start the song before the ocarina is ready. Anna, good afternoon. You doing today? Come on in, we're on the home stretch here. Only got a couple tasks to do and then it's on to the moon. Oh, I'm really good. Weirdos out in the world, there is only one in my house. Exactly, Maddie. That's the way to look at it. Yeah, it's it's good. We got uh, Easter candy in the house. We're gonna be having Easter dinner later. I don't know what, because we're gonna order it. That was not what I meant to do. And Majora's Mask has been going really well today. No major slip-ups. Let's get the last stray fairies. And we're on to the last couple of quests. And all done. Which one did I miss? Almost always one in this room if I forget one. Here, okay. 
was in here. Why didn't you guys tell me I forgot to open this treasure chest? Well, that was easy. Awesome. Can't believe you guys let me just walk past that treasure chest last time. Rude. Thank you, Luna. I know, you just wanted to see more of this game. Drag it out for another couple of seconds. Alright, let's go cash this in and get our last great fairy. One more shenanigan on cycle three to show off. You can see we've got we got two un, unfinished quests to finish up yet. And actually, there's one that's not even on the registry yet. It just shows up to, and is done. So we're going to give them all our money, get over 5000 get our prize. We're just gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna need some of that back. Last thing we have to do or can do on this cycle is buy this thing. <laughs> the all night mask. When you put it on, you just can't fall asleep. That is required for two of the last six heart containers we have to get. <laughs> Here's what we gotta do. We have to have Grandma read us two stories to get the two heart container pieces now that we have a mask that will not let us fall asleep while she's reading to us. And we have to deliver some priority mail to the mayor's wife or Kaki's mother. Um, when you do that whole quest line, you get some mail from the from uh, the curiosity shop guy, and you can either give it to the postman to give to her, or you can give it directly to her. You can only do one of those, and there's different rewards based on which way you take it. Um, so because of that, you have to do that quest line twice. And because you can't do that quest line and get the Curiosity Shop mask, again, that's why it takes three cycles to get through this game. So now we're going to do the version where we get the alternate ending we get to give the mail straight to Mom. Solaria! Good afternoon. It's a good afternoon for you. How's lunch going? We are getting close to finishing up everything to do in Termina and head to the moon. What are you doing today? Hmm. 
We're about to get read some bedtime stories. Some health <laughs> tacos. <laughs> Those are, are, are healthy, right? They contain all the food groups. Tacos I have. No. <laughs> See, Alex knows what's up. Knows what's up. One more story. Depends on what you do after them. <laughs> it, it is Luna, and it's it's hard to find because you have to rescue the bomb shop lady, and then you have to go to the curiosity shop on the third day and buy that mask. We get tots and soda in it. <laughs> I mean, is it a diet soda? We're just gonna go grab a few supplies quick. Instead of okay, you're probably fine. You you move around enough. Like I don't think you have to worry about dealing with that kind of thing. You burn those calories. Hi! Those bombs went in the water. Not that I really need them, but I do want the arrows. A few bombs. Dude, it's not snowing hailing today, so oh. glad to hear it. So, we need to get the mail from the Curiosity Shop man on day three, right? That's, that's the goal. It's crazy. They get cooled off a little here, but it's not too bad. So I, I just want to clue you in, because we got a second, I want to clue you in on what's going on here. We gotta make it day three. I like a good storm too, Alex. As long as the power stays on. That's, that's what really works. Oh. Right, Luna? It's, it's so creepy, but it's kind of fun. Alright, Bool, are you ready for this? I could agree with that. So. It's locked. The trigger for this door to be open is to meet Kahe on day two. The curiosity shop man and his willingness to hand the mail over is always there on day three. He's always there. The only trigger you have to deal with is the fact that this door is locked. Right? And we didn't meet Kahe on day two because we didn't talk to... Anju on day one, we didn't deliver the letter, we didn't do any of that stuff. And the door is locked. So. Let's deal with that. didn't bother to code him to not appear. Which, if you save the bomb lady, that does mess this up. But you just have to get around the locked door otherwise. Hmm. 
that everything's a lie. Now, you can only do this to get the mail, right? You haven't done any of the triggers to get either of those two to show up for the wedding. So they're not going to get married. You didn't do the whole quest. This is only an alternate way to get the second ending. It's true, Noodle. That's it. Apart from the quests that show up while you're on the moon, you've done everything in the main game. And we finished day three with a nice swig of Chateau Romani to prep us for the moon. Which is what's next. We've got a half hour to beat the moon. I think we can do it. Day three and night three are both so good. That's where cows live? Yes. Because why isn't everyone playing this game right now? It's so good. <laughs> Anybody remember the song we're supposed to play? I love this moment. Just, just so good. Okay, Alex, you're you're excused. It can be emulated. Play it in emulation. Thank you for the raid. We just stopped the moon from falling. Oh, and thank you for the host. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's 
Oh, Vancouver, welcome in. And and Chris saw you back there. And Melon, guys, Sophie. We are saving the world. We just just called the four protected gods to, to catch the moon and stop it from falling. But we're not done. We've got like 20 minutes of content left. How was how was Apex, Sophie? You must have uh, you must have had a shorter stream because you started after me and you're already done. Did Krista say thank you for the follow? Thank you for. We're skull kid. Anybody needed uh, any nightmare fuel? Coming right up. No worries, no worries, Sophie. Thank you for bringing everyone over. You go ahead and take care of yourself and everything you gotta do. Okay? Talk to you later. Well, you can answer that if you want. Just let the cutscene play. You raising your hand because you had a question. Mm -hmm. Oh, you wanted some nightmare fuel. Okay, good. Uh, Luna, I think the answer to your question is that Majora's mask was causing the moon to appear and fall. Um, and the Skull Kid was just sort of a puppet being dragged along with it. Again, kind of like the One Ring. Has a mind and will of its own. I mean, you know, as long as you don't get burned playing with fire, fire can be useful. <laughs> it's extremely useful in Breath of the Wild, actually. And it looks so good. So there's four little, like, mini challenges that are completely optional. Um, not for 100% optional, but they are optional to beat the game. And each one is themed around the four areas of the main game. Oh yeah, the, the Swamp Temple sound design is just great. And these guys question us on friendship. He's not going to miss it though, Bull, right? Because he's going to play it himself, and I think that might even be better. You know? He's pretty much said he's playing this after Ocarina of Time, so I think the more he gets to experience himself firsthand, the better. This section can either be really fun or totally nasty.
we gotta learn not to detach the camera. is tough. We might be here for a minute. This is this is a rough section, so. First try would be amazing. I don't know that I've ever first tried this stretch. Oh, come on. I disagree with that. But whatever. Get new tires to improve traction. He's already got Bike sticking out of him. How much better traction can you get? It is a little bit frustrating. Um, it's not too terribly bad, but it's also, again, optional. And it was a. This one was actually a little easier on the N64 to do the required part because. If you just went straight at the start, you pretty much got as far as you needed to go. And going straight on an N64 controller was easy because it had notches. So uh, it's also much, much harder when you emulate the N64 version or play one of the ports because the analog sensitivity is dialed up to 11. But yes, it. Like the first time I played this back in college, rage inducing. done is well begun. Thankfully the, the Zora one is completely reworked from the N64 original because that was just kind of trash. Anyone who says otherwise is just a pair of rose colored glasses. It's not necessary, but I like to do them in order. so hard in this game and still not yeah it really it's it's true you have to get all the masks leading up to this section and then you have to beat all four of these little side areas it's uh it takes dedication that's for sure but yeah the the version of this in the n64 version for anyone who's not aware is basically just a series of really random branching paths and the only way to quote unquote solve it is complete trial and error. It's just not fun and it's not good design. And again you can kind of tell the reason there are so many improvements to Majora's Mask 3D as opposed to Ocarina of Time 3D is Majora's Mask the original was made within a year of Ocarina of Time kind of tell they reached it. They ran out of time for some things that they wanted to do. So in this version they were able to add in a lot of that stuff. Yeah, it was hot garbage, you're right. Can I go back? I don't think I can. 
The only way to get that heart container, unfortunately, I still think this is kind of garbage, is to take the wrong path there, and then you end up back at the very start. You have to do all three sections. Okay. Not that it takes a long time, but it's just kind of stupid. Gamer, thank you for the lurk. Yeah, I'm happy that they got to redo some things, too. It's just, it's a better package in the, the remake here. Ocarina of Time. Okay, they fixed a few little niggles and it looks better. I would argue Majora's Mask 3D is just a better game overall. Hey, Blue Creature, I am having a lovely Sunday. I hope you are as well. We're... We're getting close to finishing my favorite game of all time in this little three-day marathon, and I could not be happier about it. It's, just, it's such a delightful game. I hope you're well. Even if, even if Easter isn't your thing, I hope you ate lots of candy today. I think that's the most important thing. And we made it. We get candy tomorrow. With there you go. Okay, as long as you get candy at some point, that's what matters. Just a we have cake or something else, but Rini has been buying Easter candy across the last month and a half. And she squirreled it away where I couldn't get to it, so she put it all out on the counter this morning. The little bunny ears are not only adorable, they also make them run faster, so it's practical to wear them. I mean, look at this. I take them off. So, I mean, it's every reason to have them on. Those are the opposite of companion cubes. Bunny ears also make you run faster in real life. Good point. Good. Okay. Ah. Also, Maple, I hope your your rest day was useful. You did rest and recover. I always, I'm always heartwarmed when streamers take the time to take a day and just recover when they need it. We'll still be here. Don't push yourself. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Borrow your rabbit's ears. Just ask nicely. Alex. Love it. Three day stream break and I definitely Ooh, that sounds lovely. Like I I only stream three days a week. Pops. Um and half the time I end up taking one of those days off just because by the time Thursday rolls around with my day job, I I need that. Oh, you know what? I should be using this. If you have it, let's use it. Yeah, they probably wouldn't like it. Your bunnies are the best. Anytime you show pictures of your bunnies, I love it. We all know how I feel about bunnies, so... Surprised anyway. Is that a bird bishop boss battle? I don't know, Alex. I have to remember this guy can't kill me in two hits this time. A little more health. Yeah, I love the iron knuckle fights. 
actually dangerous, which is nice. around. Okay, one more trick shot with bomb shoes. That's the last heart container. We're at full health. Try. What? Sorry, Bool. Sorry. I, I really am giving thought to doing a uh, one stream any percent streak. So hold on to that hope. Are those cookie hearts, Maple? I love it. I love it so much. Gave away all our masks, but where are we thinking? Here, we'll walk. We won't even go on roll, we'll walk. For you, pool. Soak it in. Increase pumps again. Yeah, if 
you do the work to get the Fierce Deity Mask, the final boss is trivialized. But you did the work, right? Fair enough, Alex. Great. And Bully, you're right, it is it's it's just deserved at that point. So. It is. Can we finish before four o'clock? We're gonna watch the ending this time together though. Before we move on. It's a well-deserved ending. So stick around for that. It wasn't much of a fight in middle. Up the VOD. It wasn't even a minute long. Go play it yourself. And you can find it. Oh. Guys, that was Majora's Mask 3D 100% in nine hours, over three days, in basically two cycles. It, it, I mean, could be. We did we did have some resets in there, so it wasn't like single segment, you know. And, but still pretty good. Thank you. Thank you guys. Oh, cool. Thank you. I still haven't fixed the bit thing, so we're gonna hear that sound twice. Alex, thank you for the emotes. I love them. Absolutely love them. Maddie just finished too. Nice. I'm gonna. I gotta. Oh, we're watching this. Yeah, that's my to-do list. Stop. Top fifty is sub seven hour for hundred percent. Okay. I could probably do that, but I don't like a lot of the tricks that they do to get that. Thank you for the bits. Now it's on my to-do list to fix that sound. Be fixed by next stream. I don't know if you call them hard. They're um, it's it's like timing dependent. There's this thing you can do where you collect hot water while you wear the Gibdo mask and you use the internal timer for the hot water to trigger a wrong warp at the wrong time and you end up in a completely different area of the map and it's just it's, it's not fun for me i don't want to do that kind of, like you have to literally have a clock in front of you and be like activate this glitch at six minutes into the run or whatever i don't get i mean watch it it's fascinating to watch it's nothing i have any interest in doing Are you sure this time? Are you sure the evil's gone? <laughs> yes, Troy, that's why like my route is built around like how would I how do I want to play the game? What do I consider 100 percent It's just it's nothing that's designed for a leaderboard, it's designed for how do I want to have the most fun for me. <laughs> yeah, let that guy have it. Well, thank you. Thank you, Trey. He does have a Mario mask. It was a, a Mario mask on his backpack. He also has a mask that looks like Link's shield. Oh, well, thank you, Bill. I do love the games. So, they are. Also done. I don't know who that is, Alex, but I'll take your word for it. So, just just want to point this out. Link started this game looking for his fairy friend that he 
parted ways with. Thank you, Zombie Piazza. Parted, he, he, he started this quest looking for Navi. And he never found Navi, and instead he found a different fairy that he made friends with and left behind at the end of this game. Oh, look, we got a hype train going on. Here's some guys. What's wrong with you? Um. <laughs> Sorry. Alex. I'm sure he'll enjoy that, so thank you for gifting that sub to um, The scenes that you get during the credits here are different based on which masks you got. So clearly there are a number of optional masks, and some of these scenes will be black and just show a little picture of the mask or a 3D model of the mask you didn't get. So the credits are... Mutable? Something? Thank you, Luna. And son, you got the yellow ruby. Nice. It's it's a good tune too. Wait. Thank you. Appreciate that. Don't listen to the bot. See, like this one. If you never got the postman's hat, you wouldn't see this scene. It would just show a black screen with a little picture of the postman hat. But if you got all the masks, like we did, you get to see all the scenes. You like this? You get to see all the fairies again. I know you wanted that. played Hades. I know we've talked about it. I have played Hades. I've probably played 15 to 20 hours of Hades. I escaped three times. And then I got kind of bored of the loop. And I know 10 escapes is like the full story. I might go back to it someday. We stole all those marshmallow peeps and turned them into cuckoos. I even enjoy it because you have to play through it so much to get the story just like this. Yeah, I mean, I did enjoy what I did play of it. I just, the gameplay kind of, I don't know if I probably um, binged it a little too much, but I do that with games. More quickly than I escaped. Yeah, like, I at least escaped a couple of times, and it took me a few attempts. Ever going to revisit Age of Seasons? I don't really plan to. They aren't really my favorite Zeldas. They're fine for what they were, but I find them kind of. find that they have like tedious stretches in them and not as much fun. Easy game to pick up and read. It's a good point, Alex. It's a very easy pick up and play game. I would probably revisit Oracle Age of Seasons if. The uh, the rumor of them being redone like Link's Awakening comes to fruition. And since they couldn't be bothered to model a non-cursed cafe, you can't see him in this scene. I mean, I would be okay with them doing that, Troy. I think that's a great idea. But... There's some design decisions in those that Capcom made that I disagree with, and I'm not a huge fan.
By the way, if anyone was wondering, the Deku mask and the Zora mask were dead people's whose faces we stole. His son was the the Deku, the Zora mask and the Goron mask. His son was the Deku mask, and that was what happened to him there. Again. 